All right, so we are gonna jump right into this thing with the uh, Trent Balky uh, press conference that I just finished watching and uh, took a little bit of notes. Not nearly as much in this video as there was in the video with Urban Meyer, but um, still got a little bit of insight here as to what he's thinking. Um, I think something was wrong with the video feed uh, for Jaguars.com because it started off at like the end of the question and I don't know how many questions we actually missed because the feed just kind of like cut in and it was a really short video. It was only like a 15 minute video. Um, but the first thing we hear is him pretty much just beating around the bush with the quarterback position. Uh, giving some pretty fake praise to Jake Luton and Gardner Minshew um, because he can't just outright say that they're picking Lawrence at one. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, the second question that was asked was about the facilities, uh, which he pretty much kind of deferred that and said that, you know, the whole... He gave a lot of non-answer answers in this interview, like... Um, well, we want the best for our players and blah, blah, blah. And I really think that's more of an Urban Meyer thing um, that he's doing. Not so much of a, um, not so much his doing with the new facilities. So I don't really know why we need new facilities. Um, but, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, the third question he was asked was about the opt-outs from last year, which I actually thought was a pretty interesting question. Um, that would be Robert Woods, um, Melvin, something. I don't even remember their names. There's like three guys that didn't play last year. Uh, Lorente McRae, and then the corner um, from Detroit. I can't even remember his name. Um, and he pretty much said that they've been in contact with those guys, and they'll find out more in detail ne next week. I would not expect them to be back, nor do I really care. Um, <clears throat> he was asked about if he prioritized in free agency. Um, said the same thing that Irvin said yesterday. Said that yes, um, they are prioritizing and looking for that value for their pretty much their bang for their buck, not so much of the hot name, which I think is bull crap. I think. I think the Jags will go after some pretty premium names. I'd be shocked if this time next week, like, we don't have some pretty premium names. I mean, there's no reason why we shouldn't with all the money that we got. Uh, he was then asked about Trevor Lawrence's pro day, which <laughs> apparently he didn't even attend, which is kind of... Apparently he said that there is a rule that they were only allowed three people and they thought it was more important for Darrow Bevel and Brian Schottenheimer to go, which, I guess, um, said that he'd already seen Trevor Lawrence play live. Actually, he used the term, I've had the privilege, the privilege of seeing Trevor Lawrence throw live. So, we are obviously picking Zach Wilson at one. <clears throat> Looking at you, Chris Sims. Looking at you. Uh, said that the Jaguars have had two other five video meetings with Trevor Lawrence. Um, he personally has not been a part of them yet, but plans on being a part of them in the future. I was asked about. I'm sorry if my voice <clears throat> is messed up. I hope it's. I hope it's not COVID, but I'm kind of congested today. So, and I shaved, so I'm nice and. Nice and ugly for all you people out there. All 10 of you that'll probably watch this video. Um, the tight end position he was asked about. Um, obviously, Jags ain't got no tight ends. We haven't had a tight end since Mercedes Lewis. Um, said that he, and this is kind of where like his non-answer started. He said that um, if he gives the reporter names that the other 31 teams are going to hear, um, said that they plan on using the draft and free agency to supplement that position, which is kind of interesting. 
I would expect the Jags to get Hunter Henry or Jono Smith. I'd be shocked if this time next week one of them wasn't a Jaguar. Um, priorities in free agency. And um, actually a pretty interesting question, although interesting but stupid. Um, he was asked kind of at the same time if there was ever a player other than Cam Robinson that was considered for the tag. You're not going to pay Dwan Smoot franchise tag money or Keelan Cole as much as I hope we re re sign him you're not going to pay Keelan Cole top five wide receiver money you're just not um, <clears throat> um but he pretty much said that you know non-answer it was a non-answer answer um and then he went on about how Cam Robinson's young has a ton of potential uh they still believe in him and all this, it was, it was a lot of, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. Cause it was a lot of non-answer crap. Like urban Meyer is very open and very wears his emotions on his sleeves. I kind of feel like, and kind of tells you what he thinks. And this dude is like the total opposite. And his voice is really weird. I know it doesn't have anything to do with anything, but his voice is like, it's like a chore to listen to him talk. Um, <laughs> Asked again about the salary cap. Um, says that obviously they plan on spending this this year. No reason why shouldn't. If you really want that quick fix turnaround, um, you got to spend all the money you got. You got the most in the league. Next Wednesday is free agency. Just blow it all. Bring in bring in the best of the best. Uh, and he emphasizes that shotgun. It wants to spend big, wants to win now. Um, probably the best question that was asked is uh, in the draft, does he consider best player available first or need? Which is always the big question, but it was the best question that was asked. Um, and from what he was saying, he, he seems to lean more towards best player available, um, but said if BPA and need is equal, he would go for need, which makes sense. Like, <laughs> okay, like hypothetically, if Mac Jones is still there at 25 and uh, Christian Barmore is there at 25, okay, you may have, um, you may have them kind of equally ranked but you won't need a quarterback because we just picked Lawrence. So you would pick the defensive tackle because God knows we need that desperately. Um, asked another cap question. These guys ask like the same question. It's so stupid. They ask the same question, but in a different way over and over again. Um, and if he expects more players to be um, available this year because of the cap being lowered from last year. And... Um, it was basically, again, the same kind of answer as before. Like, they're going to spend, and they expect people to be available. And this time next week is going to be pretty fun. At least it should be. Um, asked about how um, there seems to be a lot of power given to the assistant coaches on this team, on this coaching staff. Um, it kind of, you know, felt that that was an important way to structure the hierarchy of this team. Um, I'm not sure if other teams do it that way. I'm sure they do. I'm sure it's not that bizarre and out of out of uh, the norm. But um, just kind of again, it's it's hard. It's like with Urban, I felt like I was able to talk more freely. I feel like this video, it like I can't really go into detail as much as I was able to yesterday because. Again, if you watch it, he gave a lot of non-answer answers. And I don't really know how to elaborate on it as much as I did with Urban. Um, but the last question was, <clears throat> I thought this was important, was asked about James Robinson. Obviously, it's a great story. Loves him. Um, he's the running back one, clearly. Um, but also added that we need a change of pace back which I agree with because 
unless uh, Rock Armstead kind of comes out of nowhere. He didn't play last year because of COVID, um, but unless he was a fifth round pick out of Temple two drafts ago, um, unless he's something and comes out of nowhere, um, because he did the whole, whoa, whoa, we got guys uh, that we think can compete in the room now, but we don't really, we don't. Um, so that's interesting to see if they'll address that next week or if they'll spend draft capital on that. That'll be pretty interesting. Because um, James Robinson's great, but he's not that quick cut kind of a guy. That's the kind of dude that we need. Kind of like Corey Grant, um, his very short-lived tenure here. Um, that's the kind of guy that we need in the backfield. And that was pretty much it. Again, really short. I feel like their video feed was kind of screwed up in the beginning because there wasn't that many questions. Um, and it kind of entered in in the middle of a question about the quarterbacks. Um, but that's all I got. I hope uh, it was some kind of an insight. hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the video and subscribe.